Hey, what's up, fellas? Cool. Hey, cool. how are you, man? Good, man. How are good you? Good to see you. Mark, how you been? Mark, good to see you. Good. Been good. Got your good. camera there, I see. Yeah. Nice. Doing a little filming. Nice. Hey, I wanted to ask you guys. Uh, I got some super streaks to give away. It's coming okay. up on the last two rounds. You know anybody who might be interested? What is it? Uh, it's pretty much like the MRA's new rider kind of thing. It's like a like a race school condensed into you know a couple hours. So if you've never been to the track or you're thinking about possibly racing, getting back in the racing, maybe you know, so an hour or so of instruction. Nick, well, it's a it's a opportunity to put a motorcycle on the racetrack without having to safety wire and have to put body work on it. There you go. The rider has to show up in full gear, but he okay. can he can go test it. So any bike, any bike. Yeah, any bike. Any bike, any rider, any age. Well, you know what I'm thinking. My yeah. Cycle World uh, Tracer. Heck My yeah. Cycle World Tracer TT. Oh, that'd be yeah. cool bike. I, I've kind of toured on it now, and I've uh, I've played with a uh, bunch of stuff to make it better touring bike. And then I did the ECU. Uh, Ivan's performs the DCU, nice. and I got a radiator guard on it from Cox. Cox. Yep. And I ran at the drag strip. That's awesome. Ran 12 zeros. Awesome. <laughs> nice. So uh, we should Trace, enter Tracer that. time. But I, sh I you, sh you should probably enter it. Cause how right. long has it been since you raced a motorcycle? A minute. Yeah. When? 2004. Ooh. Wow. That'd be fun. That would be fun. So stick him on. Stick him on my long-term bike. All right. And I'll be your crew chief. Oh. Oh. Hey. I'll be your crew chief. Excellent. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's That's do it. Great. Let's do it. Right. Okay. Great. Sweet. I'll see you, you guys know. out there. Thanks, cool. Thanks. Ready to race? Ready to race. Yeah. What are you guys here listening to music? Well, yeah, we got. We're trying to get the right channel. Uh, we got a. We got a chatterbox mounted on his racing helmet. So what you do is you blue. We can Bluetooth it. We've been Bluetoothing it. So we're thinking we're gonna listen to some Toby Keith. Oh man, nobody Dwight listens to music when you're racing. And what's with this tank bag? Well, the tank bag. Uh, I'm the crew chief, and if my rider runs out of gas or something like, if he's down in turn four and he's out of gas. I got a sandwich in here, so you can have a sandwich. My Sammy. If your, you know, if your bike breaks and you're sitting there, I remember at Elkhart Lake one time, my bike broke in the carousel, you know, way back from the pits, and the corner worker had a sandwich, and it made my whole day. My bike was broken; I didn't get any points, but I had a sandwich, and I, I just made my whole day. So I got a sandwich for my rider. Man, nobody good rides with sandwiches. No sandwich. No. no. Nobody races with sandwiches. I thought my crew chief was taking good care of me. What? Well, you should feed you first, and then maybe also put take put fuel on the bike so you don't run out, so you don't need the sandwich. All right. We How long has it been since you guys raced? Um, Fifteen years. Back in the old days, we always had a sandwich with us. I carried a backpack sometimes <laughs> with a sandwich. Of course. Back when I was racing. Well, we're gonna take it off. If you say it, Ryan Burke says he's number, he's yeah. Mr. Number One. We better take it off. All right. Yeah, let's, get to work. let's go to work. Hey Mark, I take, yeah. I take my crew chief job seriously. For sure. So I've packed some things into the saddlebags. I will help you during the race. Thankfully. If uh, if you uh, want to stop anywhere and do some reading, I like Jack Reacher. I thought you'd like that. It's it's Excellent. a lot of fun. Excellent. Lot of, he's a real winner. I think that's good. Uh, I got his first aid kit. If you fall off, band it quick. Flip this out and do some bandaging. It's got some iodine. Yeah. Get that working. Is there okay. a tourniquet in there? Tourniquet in here. Whip that out. And then I got some gym clothes in case if you get hot and you want to just stretch out a little bit during the race, just pull over, pull you out your gym clothes and stretch out. All right. Okay. Awesome. Yep. And so I'm in the other side. Yep. I packed a couple things too. I got an extra sweatshirt, okay. Yamaha. 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 Uh, a rain jacket. If it starts raining, put this on. Good news. You don't want to get your leathers all wet. Yep. Uh, I got a lock. You never know what, what turn I might end up in. I've had things stolen before and I like to lock my stuff. So if you pull over, lock it up. Uh, binoculars, 
I think that's so I'd be able to see the flag man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If, you wanna, if you're not winning, look up and see, you know, right. see what you got to do on that. I like to wear plastic bags in my boots if it rains. Okay, so put those in your boots. Um, I, I put in a helmet dryer for you. If uh, if you're sweaty and the, you know, the sweat runs down in your eyes sometimes and stings your eyes, sure. pull over, whip your helmet on that. Okay, just hang on to that for a second. Um, I brought I brought a stool in case you wanted to uh, take a little break because sometimes riding the bike t tires you out. Hey, at my age, I might get tired. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I'll bet so just you set this stool up anywhere, like turn like, five's a good spot when they go downhill. I brought you, uh, I got extra fuel, uh, an extra fuel jug that, uh, you know, if you run short, I'll fill this. And yeah. you just whip this out and use that as an extra fuel jug. It's like my reserve tank. Yep, I got a couple more little things in here. Uh, this is a paver. If you run off, and that happens sometimes, yeah. you run off, you just paint, you do, got a few of these, pave the way back onto the track. It'd be mm, smooth. And, uh, pave yeah, the line. Yeah. Hang on to that for a second. Thank you. Hey, thank you paver. And then I brought you one more little thing. I brought this little cart to yeah. carry the stuff in. I just keep that. I'll keep that in the back of the saddlebag. Just Excellent. put all your stuff in this cart. If you have to, like if you're, if you want to finish the race in turn five, leave the bike, lock it, and just carry all the stuff back here. For sure. Nick, you're the best crew chief ever. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks. Pass and then signal going now right back over in front of the guy that you just passed. Right? Go right, go right, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 got okay, it. Now here's three, left-hander. Left. Hander. left. Turn signal on and then turn the bike. Left, yeah. left. I think you got it, I think you got it. How many practices do we get? Zero. What do you get? There's some lead follow time with an instructor, so they're going to show me the way around. Okay. All right. Well, I've raced uh, this year. You haven't raced for 15 no. years. I'm yeah, going to. Thanks for I'm going to ride with you during the lead follow. Okay. Oh, so, so I'll put yeah. my gear on. I'll ride with you, and it'll be pretty simple. Awesome. Yeah. I'm going to help you. I'm, I'm going to coach you in real time. <laughs> so as we approach turn number one, okay? Turn one. Now yeah. sit up on the brakes. Yeah. Now, that hit into what? one. Blinker, one. blinker. Turn blink. signal to one. Yeah, I got uh, it. Here comes two. Up and over for two. Left turn signal in two. Wait, wait. Blink. Left, and and, and, oh. and in there. In there. Now. Yeah. Two. Leave it there for three. 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 Now go across the seat for four. Right turn signal. Four. Turn and signal. drop the head of the four. Not so quick. Slower oh. down into four. Good. Right there. Four. Drive it down the hill. Uh -huh. A wheelie. Do a wheelie. Woo hoo. Right. Now. Here comes five. Right turn signal. Right turn. And drop it into drop five. Up the hill. Drop the head in there. Ah, further. Drop the head. Drop. <laughs> <laughs> You know. So what are you guys doing? Oh, we're ready to race. Yeah. We took the we took the uh, the tank bag off, and we got the telephone off. We we're gonna Bluetooth some music. Ryan said, "Don't Bluetooth music." He's Mr. Number One plate holder, so that's all. We are ready to go. Okay. So what about Boom. mirrors, the lights, and what are you doing with these saddlebags on? There? <laughs> we got we got some stuff for Mark's race. No, sam no. Sandwich. No, no. You don't race with saddlebags. You take those off. Jeez. Are you Ryan's crew chief? Yeah, I am. I'm Mark's crew chief. This is so cool. Good nice. to meet you. Is there like a secret crew chief handshake? Do we do anything like CC or is any? No, no. you guys are idiots. Take off the saddlebags, and the mirrors, and the lights. Yes, ma'am. Everybody's so uptight. I have a radar detector. Can I take my detector mount off? Is there going to be any law out here? I think you're going to be going pretty fast on the straightaway. Not against the law here. I don't want you to get a ticket. Should I pull the radar detector? Yeah, I'm going off. It's on you. Yeah, that's something I don't need. But the heated grips, they're still working, right? Yeah, we're running them on low today. For sure, because it's pretty warm out. Got a great tip from Ryan and his group, and um, a lot of you guys might want to do this. To measure uh, front travel, he said put a zip tie around the fork. I thought that was a great idea, so. This, visibility is horrible. These are, this, I've, I, have, I mean, I haven't had this new racing helmet like this. I don't know what to do. I can't see anything. I know. Oh, man. I don't know if you should even race. Jeff! Jeff Brown! He's the, he's the new rider guy. Jeff, Jeff. I can't really...
actually see a damn thing out of this new helmet. He hasn't raced for a long time, and oh. these new helmets have a terrible. Man, you guys, you guys are idiots. How's that? Yeah. Whoa. Relax. So it's just we just beat the rain. It's just starting to rain here. Uh, Mark ran a fantastic race. I think he got off into fifth place and worked his way up into second. And by that time, the EBR was gone. I think you're running pretty close to the same lap time, but the EBR was gone. So just one, he just took second place in the street bike on Tracer GT. Uh, how was it? I mean, literally, how was it to ride? And what, what's your pluses and minuses of it? It's a remarkable, remarkable motorcycle. It did so many things well. Um, you know, the racetrack's really not its element but the thing came off the hole really good. The front end is exceptional. The brakes are mighty. It didn't do anything weird. I had no weird moments the whole the whole time. And, and we screwed around in this film a lot and that's that's kind of, motorcycle is gonna be fun for yeah, us for because sure. that's why we're doing it. Right. But we put, we were almost all in in the front, almost all in the spring. We were three clicks out on, com on compression and two, one click out on rebound. It was all in, the rear was full stiff spring and all the way in on rebound one click out on rebound just so we weren't closing it off completely so we went all stiff and mark it, it works pretty well it works pretty damn well yes yeah. i could feel abs kicking in on me yeah, yeah, yeah. uh dragging my feet yeah how fast did you go did you notice the speed off did you look well i could see 128 128 down the front straight sure. pretty good pretty how fast good. how fast does berkey go on his r1 168. <laughs> so 40 miles an hour is all we're missing. That's, that's it. That's, that's pretty it. good. So, but we just had a really good time. Uh, we're big fans of this thing. We've got one at school that's not a GT, but we're really enjoying it. Yep. Here's what we did. We took the center stand off of it because we dragged the center stand to the school. We took the center stand off. We took the feeler pegs off. We took the rear foot pegs off because our feet fouled them. So we took that off. Mirrors, of course, hand guards, yep. and windscreen. What else? We pulled a couple fuses just so we weren't burning the tape on the headlight and stuff, but we went racing in MRA Super Street, and this is the, MRA is the Colorado club that runs Super Street at every round. Yeah. So any of you guys out there on bikes like this, that you think I don't have a race bike, but I'd like to race a little bit, this is a fantastic thing. Zero red flags, it went smooth. It was fantastic. Highly recommended. <laughs>